One option that sometimes is useful in programming is to use a dictionary to organize your data. So I thought I'd do an example and show you what I mean. This is a dictionary showing some phones and their prices. Uh, it's not that easy to understand. Let me just quickly tidy it up so we can see. So same as when we did this with arrays, we just bring it down so a new one on each line just makes a lot more readable and then we can see what's going on. So what you can see is that the phones I've got here are in kind of pairs. So the data is in pairs, I should say. So I've got the phone over here and its price over here. Phone, price, phone, price. So every time it's a pair. And what we can do is we can look something up. So for example, right here, I've said go to phones and look up LG G7. And what that will look up is this 749. We're just running that to check it. Um, there we go one value has been output so that's a pretty straightforward and easy thing to do and of course we could do the usual thing and say for um, phone in phones print phone I don't think there'll be any surprises with what we see there uh, is that right? probably right there we go uh, so that's printed the individual phone and then we could say print um, phone and we could print the rate. So we could we need to go back to the phones and say grab the the value for that phone from the phones list. So that should give us the phone and the price. That's great. Um, what we sometimes find though is that Having more than one value is useful. So it might be that for an LG G7 OnePlus 6T, we don't want to just look up the price. We want to look up some other information, like, for example, um, how many gigabytes of memory it's got or whether it's water resistant or something. Now, we can't say um, have three things to look up over here. We can only ever have one thing on this side of the colon. But cunningly, we can say that one thing could be an array of values so we could have this so yes I've still only got one thing that I'm looking up next to the razor phone too but that one thing actually contains three values in itself so let's just make up some more data here and this one would be 64 um, IP 67 and uh, do a similar thing here 749 maybe this one's 256 and bear with me here uh, another 64 you know what let's make them all IP67 from now shall we control C control V it's that one I lost a comma in there somewhere I think I did and this one one two eight oh, IP 67 look at that and again I've lost a comma haven't I? I've added got the commas in the wrong place so what happens when you try to rush things you should need to sometimes just take your time and do it neatly so if I run this now um so this was the phones lg67 i just looked that up and then i've looked through them and it's come up with each phone and these values here so say i wanted to look up um the phone um price that would be the zeroth value there but what i might also want to look up is um the waterproofing so that would be number two in that list. So save that. Yeah, so I've printed out the price and the waterproofing for each phone in turn. Uh, so where am I? Back to here. So this might be useful for organizing data in some circumstances. Um, you absolutely don't need it. You can do everything that is here um, two or three different other ways. Uh, but just occasionally, 
this might be the neatest and easiest way to achieve what you want to achieve. So it's another tool in your toolbox.